previously on my channel. Just left my parents' house, put up our fall tree, Green tree. Then here is the fall tree. Always our favorite tree of the year. Someone hit me, so I have to go take that to get estimated for how much that's gonna cost. So it's gonna be the busiest week of our month, and I ordered the new iPhone 11. The tabletop open. So I'm the number two, so I will be in the back galley. Welcome to LA. Moved our flight up to 6 a.m. Didn't call us. I'm gonna see you tomorrow in Dallas. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I just got home. I was out test driving a car. I am currently losing my voice because I'm sick and this is just not good. So I was test driving a car. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get it yet. They were not willing to negotiate with me. I feel like I have to be getting a good deal or else I'm not gonna wanna put the money into it. Um, and you know, us women, whenever it's a good deal, you know we're gonna buy it. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, but it is Saturday. Tomorrow is Sunday because Sunday comes after Saturday. Duh. <laughs> I am going to see Q tomorrow. I just got back from a trip, which is the vlog that you guys saw before this. I'm lighting candles in the house because it is fall. Um, just lit the flannel one the other day from Bath and Body Works. This smells so good. I'm not ready to turn the heat on yet though because I just stopped turning the air on. So. My roommates are still in Paris. Or there might be in Amsterdam now, I don't know. You know, little brats. Uh, but I'm just finishing up some modules and I'm gonna pack for CQ. I literally just walked in the door so I'm gonna put my sweats. Just a second. Much better, I'm much more comfortable. So, like I think I was saying before I had to change and my mom called me, um, was so CQ we don't have to wear a uniform and that is so nice so basically um CQ stands for continuing qualifications and it just re-acknowledges you and refreshes your mind on all of the day-to-day -day things that we do as flight attendants emergency procedures uh, evacuations um the equipment all that sort of stuff um so I like to be pretty comfy during CQ. Obviously you can show up wearing like sweatpants. Um, I, I don't know if, no, 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 okay. Um, I was confusing in my head when you're in training, you have to be business casual, um, but CQ is, you don't have to do that. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm packing really quickly. Uh, I just got this awesome jacket from TJ Maxx. Um, it's an olive green leopard print. It's by the brand Sono, And it was $24.99. Guys, I am such a Maxinista. It's no joke. I'm just bringing a swimsuit. Dallas is warm and one of my girlfriends really likes to go in the jacuzzi. So I just brought that. I brought a little side purse um, just in case if I need it. My curling iron. And then I'm bringing leggings because this is what I'm going to wear most of the time. Just a little t-shirt to go underneath that green sweater. It's going to be really hot in Dallas, but the training facility is really cold. Um, a pair of jeans in case we go out to dinner. A flannel. A white tee. The same pajamas. And then um, this leather jacket that I got from Apricot Lane. Jenna Green, she's a blogger. It's her boutique and I just love everything that she talks about so I had to get it. Um, and then I'm bringing this bag. This is something new that uh, Way Travel sent me and I'm obsessed with it. Um, I just started packing it now. I haven't actually used it yet but this is what it looks like. It has all these different compartments in here. So I have glasses, sunglasses. I put in a protein bar, Kleenex, because I'm sick, a rechargeable phone case, some perfume, and then I can throw my laptop in here. I can throw in 
my work tablet, just my iPad, all that stuff. And it pairs really well with the Away Travel suitcase on it. It just, it's a perfect duo for traveling. You guys know I talk about Away Travel all the time, for it's suitcase by them. It's super lightweight, like it's not heavy at all. It has a really, really durable shell, which is great for travel. And it's honestly made for a lifetime worth of travel. But if any of it breaks, they will uh, replace it complimentary. So yeah, this is my favorite one. This is the carry-on size. They also have a bigger carry-on size. I have mine in the standard black. You can shop all of their suitcases online if you want, or you can go in stores. Um, I'll leave all the stores that the places they have stores on the screen, but they actually have a lot more stores than I thought they did. Um, or if you want to order online, you can totally do that and they have free shipping to US, Europe, and Australia. It has a compression system in it, so you can pack a lot of stuff. They also have a 100 day free trial, so you can use it, see if you love it, which I'm sure you will. I've gotten so many friends, my friends, on to trying these out and they're obsessed with them. And if for some reason you don't like it, you can return it, no uh, worries, no questions. They're so good with their customer service. It's honestly amazing. For $20 off a suitcase, you can go to awaitravel.com slash Ann and use promo code Carrie Ann at checkout. I will leave all the links in the description box. Don't forget to check it out. And thank you for collaborating with me, Away. So I'm going to finish packing up the little tote bag. I think the only things I'm going to put in here left um, is my iPad and my laptop. And it, like I said, it's a really, really good size. Um, it'll definitely go underneath the seat in front of you. And it just it has a bunch of great compartments. Like I can put my passport in here and everything. So I did not actually finish my webinars yet because I went to test drive the car. My girlfriend is on her way over. Uh, I'm going to ask her if she wants to be filmed uh, tonight, so I'll give her a heads up and do it tomorrow so she can like have makeup on and stuff But I'm gonna hop in the shower wash my hair There's a lot to be done before tomorrow morning and I need some rest because I know you guys are so annoyed with my voice and I'm so sorry, but you know, I took the day quill. I've been taking Ricolas and um, I do want to say the girl that I flew with, flew with today um, she said tonight to gargle um, some apple cider vinegar and a crap ton of cayenne pepper. So, I'm gonna try that and cross your dang fingers that it works for me. Hey guys, good morning. So, Megan and I, say hi Megan. She's on the phone, just calling her grandpa because it's her birthday, his birthday. Um, but we just got to the train stop. We are headed to the airport. Flight's at 11.30. It's like 9.30 right now. My voice is a little better. Um, but you know, it's still pretty bad. Um, so it is empty here today. Like, look at this. If you guys are from Chicago, you know that the train stations are never this empty. So we're heading to the airport now. We got seats next to each other. Um, well, like I'm on an aisle and she's on an aisle. So we're next to each other that way. Yeah, we land at around two o'clock and um, our class starts at four. We're in the late class. So we're Look at how dope this luggage room is all the feels. You want to say hi, Casey? Hi! And Megan kind of said hi earlier, but she's off. Oh, Grandpa. <laughs> Single. <laughs> so we just finished drills. Now Casey's taking us to the gas station because she's based here now. Dallas. It is late at night. Let me see what time it is. I don't even know where my phone is. 
It is 10.40 here. Just got to my hotel. Um, since, remember, if you guys were here last year, we stayed at the training facility. But since it's all knocked down, I'll give you a little G, uh, tour of the room really quickly. So, like I said, I locked us in with the Adalock. I love that thing. And then you just have, like, your standard bathroom, good lighting. Um, I have a connecting room, so I just like to put my suitcase up there. It just makes me feel better. A long mirror. Today, I got a lot of compliments. This jacket I just got from GD Max like a week ago, so it's probably still there. It's faux fur. It's super soft. And I just think it's super cute. I have two double beds, a fridge, and a TV. And then we're right by the Cowboy Stadium and Six Flags. So the stadium is over there, and Six Flags is over there, if you can see the merry-go-round. So we were at the train facility, and then we stopped um, Miss Casey, my girlfriend, uh, my training roomie. Um, she just transferred here, and uh, so she has a car down here, and she drove us to the hotel. We stopped a quick trip. I needed some things. Uh, I forgot to pack Dayquil, so that's great. Um, they didn't have a lot at Quick Trips, so I just got Sudafed. I don't know if it's going to help, but, you know, it's worth a shot. A big-ass water bottle. Uh, Lunchable. Duh. Turkey. I got two Cliff Bars. I know I was going to try and stop eating them, but I like them too much. The Spice Pumpkin Pie and the Caramel Toffee Sea Salt. I know I think of those. Some bad things. And uh, when I was checking out, the girl was like, oh, is it your throat that hurts? And I was like, yeah. And she was said to try an orange. I don't know if the acidicness is going to make it worse or better. We're going to try it. CQ today. Um, what we did was we had, we got there. We started off with some drills. And what I mean by drills is, um, so if you are qualified on an aircraft, um, which means that you are able to fly on it. You know all the different components of it, the emergency procedures, the doors, how to operate them, everything about the plane is, makes you qualified for it. Then you have to do a drill on it to refresh in yourself every year. Um, CQ is every single year you get requalified to be a flight attendant. So we did drills. Uh, we just go over... Aircraft overviews, opening and closing doors, emergency procedures. So we yell commands and do the procedures at the same time. Um, it's not the most fun thing. When they started hiring again in the 18 classes, I believe. Maybe it was 17 too. But um, so when they start hiring again in the new classes, uh, the new classes are certified on every aircraft. So we have a lot more... Um, we have a lot more drills to do. So, my first drill did not go very well. Um, because of my voice, the man who was doing my drill said he wouldn't pass me because of my voice. And, because, like, when I, when I yell, my voice, it goes in and out. So, like... Let's say I was like saying, brace for impact, brace for impact, brace for impact. Like it kind of goes out at the end of the word. Um, and he just, he was like, no, I can't pass you. Um, because of FAA regulations, you have to be authoritative and loud and all this other stuff. We like went to verify with the manager on duty. And the manager was like... No, yeah, the FA is being super strict. I'm like, oh my god, okay. So I went, chugged a bunch of hot water uh, before we took off in Chicago. I went and got a medicine ball at Starbucks. I'm gonna get another one tomorrow. Um, so I was chugging hot water and taking a bunch of recolas, and I like wasn't talking, so I was able to like project better. Um, I didn't finish all the drills, but for the ones I did, I just made sure I chugged a lot of hot water so I was good to go. So drills are. And then after drills we had some classes that we had to do 
and some like emergency procedures for medical emergencies. How do you say ED? What to do? Like oh, just a bunch of medical stuff like that. So I obviously cannot film during that. But um, I did get a little shot when we were doing uh, an emergency of uh, Megan doing it. So I'll insert that. Is it? Alright, we're gonna go ahead and begin our scenario. Our van pickup tomorrow is at 10 o'clock to go back to the training center and finish the drills for the day. Uh, I think we do fires, we fight fires tomorrow. Um, I'm not really sure. I have a list of it somewhere. I just can't, I don't know where it is and I'm not looking for it. Um, so yeah, tonight I'm going to wash my face, I'm going to take a shower go to bed um, and chug this whole thing water because I need to feel better tomorrow. CQ is really just about getting stuff done in and out. Um, I, do, I do want to throw this in there. The manager said, um, so I was like, what if my voice doesn't get better by tomorrow? The manager said that I'll have to come back. So I, I don't want to do that. So we are going to soothe Hey guys, good morning. It is around 9.30 right now. Um, I'm just finishing getting ready. Our van is at 10 o'clock and uh, we are going straight to the academy. Um, the flight academy, sorry. And today we are just finishing up drills. Um, our flight back to Chicago is at 5 o'clock. So, I'm not going to get home till I think eight ish maybe nine and then we leave for tampa super early really ready to get this day over with my voice feels better i think that sudafed may have helped um so i'm just gonna keep taking that all day today i'm gonna go down early well actually our flight academy that um here in dallas has a starbucks so i'm gonna run straight there and get one of those medicine balls because I think the menthol in it really really helped um, so I'm gonna finish curling my hair I'll show you guys my outfit I literally rush packed so I don't even know what I brought um, I brought this flannel <laughs> um, but I forgot to bring underwear like I washed my underwear in the sink and hang dried it last night isn't that funny uh, but you gotta do what you gotta do right so Usually we have to wear business casual, and I kind of forgot about that. And it's more lenient um, than if you're in actual training, but I'm just wearing leggings. Um, I did see a few other people wearing leggings, but no one said anything to me either, so I think that's just fine. Um, so yeah, I will check in with you right before we leave. Okay, so we're getting ready to head out. Mine came to my room. Here's what she's wearing CQ, super stylish. Okay, what, how do you pronounce those? Alo. Alo? Alo? I just didn't know. And then I decided to go with this, the jacket from um, Apricot Lane in Peoria. It's from Target. Target has really good stuff right now. We're heading straight down there. We're gonna go to the training facility and we'll probably not see you guys. I might insert some clips of like the training facility, but not talking to you because I'm busy. But we'll see you when we get to the airport. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. are you? Drew, say hi again. They haven't seen you in a while. Remember Drew from London? <laughs> okay, so we just got done. We are heading home. Megan and I stopped at the what restaurant? Dallas Cowboys. Restaurant. Dallas Cowboys restaurant. We had some wings and we were flying home on the 7-8. We booked these two seats hoping that you know, once it's in between us, we can have the whole row to ourselves. And I ran into my best girlfriend's parents, Callie. Such a small world. Um, and they're on this flight too. 
So yeah, we're on the big plane. The one that has these cool lights, the Dreamliner. I don't know if it's going to work. But these dim is what I'm trying to show you.